questions? LeBron, what does it mean to you to see uh, Dwayne being so uh, outspoken about the Parkland uh, events, and, and are you surprised at all that your friend is being so vocal about it? Uh, man, that's what he is. I mean, uh, man, I think when, something is, when he's passionate about something, he definitely you know puts all into it, and uh, you know, so you know, I definitely commend him on that. Uh, but it's not a surprise. It's, I mean, it's not, we, we all know the way it is. And, much more he is than just basketball, especially in this part. You personally, have you gotten advice from some of the older players around the league about um, activism and, and how they dealt with that in this time and how you translate that to uh, current days? No. no. Absolutely. LeBron, did your sons watch the uh, this march on um, the march the other day in Washington, D.C., and did you have a talk with them about um, the Parkland events? Um, well, I haven't been back home. We was on the road. I don't know if they watched it or not, but you know we do our, our due diligence as a family on talking about issues that come up, uh, you know, things that you know they could possibly face, things that's challenging for our family. Uh, so you know, those uh, conversations are always talked about on a daily basis. LeBron, um, can you just mention obviously about how Dwayne has been impacted since he's uh, been back to Miami? locally in terms of the activism that he's been involved in and it's such a quick turnaround? Well, I mean, I don't know on a day-to-day -day basis, to be honest. Um, I'm definitely seeing you know, what he's done with Parkland and, uh, you know, and also with the march. I've seen that as well, but um, it is not surprising. Uh, you know, like, like I said, you know, D-Wade is, um, I mean, is a hell of a basketball player with more than that. You know, he's conscious of what's going on around him, but, you know, so, uh, LeBron, growing up in Akron, were there any NBA legends that you looked up to more so because of their their uh, social actions and and how they spoke out for uh, for change? No, no, no. Um, I don't know if you know me too much, but I've learned everything on my own mm -hmm. as far as being a professional, on being outspoken, on how to be a great I, you know only thing that I've had help with is how to play the game of basketball I learned that from some of my great coaches that I had uh, mentors you know, coach Drew Joyce shout him out seven uh, state finals now eight all time uh, broke the record in Ohio um, uh, Frank Walker um, you know Keith Danbrot um, you know I listen those guys taught me how to play the game but as far as all the other stuff as far as professionalism and you know, me speaking out, I've, I've learned everything on my own. So I didn't look up to nobody. I couldn't, I didn't have no inspiration.